Hey Siri, how are you? Hi there, I feel good. Thanks for asking. We spend so much time these days talking to the voice assistants on our phones that sometimes we forget that our phones can, well, talk to us too. Most things that you can read with your eyes can also be heard with your ears. That is, if the app was written with accessibility in mind. For example, hey Siri, turn on voice control. Okay, I turned on voice control. Open Safari. Hey Siri, speak screen. A screen reader is a form of assistive technology at one that renders text and image content as speech or braille output. Screen readers are essential to people who are blind, too, and are useful to people who are visually impaired, too illiterate, or have a learning disability. Isn't that cool? Anything that you can read in Safari can also be read back to you. Now, to be perfectly clear, Siri isn't reading the screen to you. She's using a feature called spoken content, and you can use it even without her. Watch this. Tap text to speech. Hey Siri, turn on airplane mode. Okay, airplane mode is now on. Hey Siri, speak screen. Huh. So, without an internet connection, Siri just isn't around. But with voice control turned on, you can leave off her wake word and simply ask your phone directly to read the screen to you. Pan up. Pan up. Pan up. Speak screen. Speech synthesis is the artificial production of human speech. A computer system used for this purpose is called a speech computer or speech synthesizer and can be implemented in software or hardware products. Now, so far you've seen how Siri and voice control can turn on spoken content, but they're not the only way. I have my phone configured to turn on spoken content every time I swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen. Watch this. Page 57 of 174. For content and design, design decisions made in the name of accessibility generally benefit everyone, because all technology is assistive. Isn't that easy? Here's how you can enable a two-finger swipe down to turn on spoken content. Go home. Open settings. Scroll down. Tap Accessibility. Tap Spoken Content. There it is right there. Now, if you like that floating toolbar and want it to be on all the time, it's called the Speech Controller. Tap Speech Controller. From here, you can further customize the gestures you use to either have the entire screen read to you or only the text that you have highlighted. Go back. While you're here, you can turn on highlighting so that you can see which words are currently being spoken. You can also change the voice and, well, if they're not talking fast enough for you, you can increase or decrease the speaking rate. You can even add custom pronunciations for words that don't quite sound right when your phone says them. Go back. Go back. Scroll to top. Go home. So, 
This spoken content feature works almost everywhere that you can see words on the screen. In text messages, in email, in your web browser, in books, and yeah, lots of other places. But every once in a while, you'll get surprised by an app that isn't as accessible as you might have hoped. You can clearly see words on the screen, but your phone can't for some reason. Open Spider Pro. Speak screen. No speakable content could be found on the screen. Go home. <sighs> to be clear, this isn't your fault. The app is simply incomplete, inaccessible. When I discover a broken app like that, an, an inaccessible app, I find myself using it less and less because, well, if it's missing the basic accessibility features that are commonplace in all the other apps, what other features do you think might be missing as well? It, it almost becomes a trust issue, doesn't it? Apple likes to say, we don't make things for some of the people or even most of the people. We make things for all of the people. And that's really what accessibility means. Accessibility is how easy it is to use the features on your phone. Maybe you're on the train and you don't want to look at your screen. Maybe you're driving and it's not safe to look at your screen. Maybe you're blind or have a vision impairment that prevents you from seeing the screen. Heck, Maybe you're just not wearing your glasses and you still want to be able to use your phone. For all those reasons and more, you can see that good accessibility benefits everybody, including you.